Shalom, shalom, YouTube. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a garden update. This is this is my brother Tom. Shalom, shalom. All right. I got my daughter Alicia panning. We'll see how far this extension cord reaches. Now, in the last video, um, and, and those are the little doggies, my neighbor dogs barking. Hey, pan over, let them see. Yeah, they're little schnauzers. All right. What's this? These here are potato plants that he's pointing at. Oh, potato. And those are cabbage. That's the wheat. And, and, and we'll get Alicia to come over here and show you the tomato plant. It's got tomatoes on it. Yeah, it's, it's already got tomatoes here and, and under that. You know, there's another one. And then over, over there are some tomatoes and Okay, we'll take you down to the other end, as far as we can go. No, no, leave it. Hold it. And we'll show you. Okay, these are the carrots. You can see the carrots and and um, you know I'm always wanting to call these things beets, but they're not beets. The radishes and then the cauliflower or, or cauliflower broccoli. There's I got only got really one one head of broccoli and the rest are still growing. This plant, well, a couple of the plants I started indoors. And, and this one survived, well, most all of them, every one survived except four of them. And the smallest ones, you can tell, the smallest ones are, are, are the ones that were bought in, you know, the other ones I started inside. All the tomato plants I most I lost almost every tomato plant because of the frost because I put them out too early. But the first tomato plant that you see that that I started inside and that's a beefsteak tomato plant. These are different tomato plants and every one of them have, has flowers so they're gonna produce and then over here and and she can't go any further with the camera otherwise she probably would but over here are um, peppers you know jalapenos cayennes green red and orange bell peppers and then all along the fence is is tomato plants except for this plant right here this is a giant watermelon plant. So we'll have giant watermelons. And then I got a... All right. Then I have a... Uh, um, you know, I'm wanting to say... A yellow squash, but it ain't a squash plant. It's a... Uh, uh, Butternut squash. Butternut squash. There you go, butternut. Oh my God. Thank you, Shisha. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. All right. And then, you know, we've got the solar panel, and we're recording on the solar panel. From the energy from the solar panel, even though it's kind of cloudy. And if it shuts off, well, then I'm going to have to redo the video. So I'm going to make this a short and sweet video. And we're going to say, be blessed by Yahuwah, and that's the Father's name. 
and Yahushua, that is his Ben's name, his son's name. And, you know, it's part of humbling yourself to realize that he has a name and he wants to be called by it. And we are to uh, guard and do Shema. We are to guard and do all that he commands. And if he commanded us not to eat unclean things, then we're not to eat unclean things. I know scripture says in some places, you know, part of Shaul's writing, which is misunderstood, misinterpreted. He was talking to the people in that day. And, you know, they twist his words to fit their lawless agenda. And we're not to do that. We are to Shema. Hear, listen, and do. Yasharel. Well, you know, a lot of people call it Israel. Well, the letter I didn't exist. It is Yasharel. It is his people. They go by his name, Yah, Yahuwah. All right. So at any rate, um, yeah, I'm not weak at all. You can, you can come test me if you like. <laughs> no, um, you know that's that's where Galatians or Galatine says, you know, those who are weak about the food, it's misinterpreted. But and and I posted and I will I'll post a video of an explanation of what is spoken in. Galatine, and I'll put it right on there to the video in the in the below in the bottom in the description box. The more information. Yeah. All right. Shalom. Be blessed in the name of Yahuwah.